Hey y'all, what's up? All right, so we're in the kitchen this week, friend. All right, so we went to eat this weekend to Papacitos. My kids had attitudes. They was like, there's no queso barilla tacos on the menu. I was like, no, we have Papacitos. <laughs> so I promised them I would make them. So we're gonna make them together today. We're gonna put them in the pressure cooker so we can make them quickly and easily. And hopefully we make enough to have for today, tomorrow's school lunch, <laughs> and tomorrow's dinner, okay? So let's get started. Let me show you what I got. What we're going to throw in this pressure cooker. We're going to close it, lock it, and let it do its thing. And then we'll pull the chicken out and shred it later. I am going to try the infused uh, like chili oil um, because I want to use that for dipping my tortillas. And um, I just have never made it this way in frying the oil. So I'm excited to try it. Now for me, I'm not doing chicken. We already know this, right? I am going to probably use some of the broth or the actual um, barilla, like the sauce, which I hope I don't get sick from because it will be infused with the chicken. You know how that goes. But I'm going to use my uh, vegan chicken strips when it's time to make my tacos because I want some so bad. I just don't want to make two batches. I'm just not in the mood to make two batches. So let's get started. We got the pressure cooker here. I'm going to get my chicken. And I did get chicken breast. Oh, I should have got chicken thighs. Anyway, I got chicken breast. I should have got chicken thighs because it's a more juicier texture. Um, I'm so used to buying breast for Quest, the dog. I just picked this up on accident. But anyway. All right, so you know us. We like a lot of flavor. So we're going to just dump all these in here. So we have our... Six pounds of chicken breast. All right, so y'all know I'd rather cook anything in pressure cooker and veggie broth. But what I'm going to do, I mean, chicken broth would be fine for those of you all who, you know, like chicken or whatever. If you're doing beef, do beef broth. But I'm just going to put one container of the veggie broth and then I'm going to fill it up with water because I want to make sure it's covered. So this is just filtered water. i just put it in here. So this is the fun part. This is when I start adding pretty much whatever I like to taste. Now, the kids evidently like it because they request this all the time. But I'm going to add some bay leaves. Um, I'll just add like three or four of them in here. Bay leaves are good for own flavor. I'm just going to drop this whole thing of garlic in here. The peels, they eventually come off and we'll scoop all that out. You know, it's all good. I have about three bouillon cubes. Maybe I'll do two of the chicken bouillon because this will give a little, little extra up. You know what I'm saying? i do three because they really love it when it's flavorful. Now, you can take your garlic, peel it, do whatever you want. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it the lazy way. We're going to skim all that off anyway. That that peel stuff, will, it's all good. Uh, now, I have uh, Garilla Chili's um, Garilla. Gaira, Gaira, Gaira chilies. This is what I have. These aren't that really hot. They're just really good. Save your seeds. If you grow food, save your seeds. So a couple of these, I'm going to pop open and take some seeds out. And a couple of them, I'm just going to drop in here just like if they are. Um, some of these, I'm just going to take some of the seeds out and some of them not. Because it's not really that hot anyway. It's not that. It's not like a hot, hot uh, pepper. I think the one that's Mexican, the one that says, um, I can't think of the name of it. It's another one. Those are hot. So I'm going to drop by four or five of them in here. I actually have these chili peppers. I can't remember how hot they are. I think they are medium. So these might be medium. These might be good too. I'm either, let me see. These are like the more redder ones. So these are like a medium hot. Yeah, these are medium hot. I might just see how these are more crunchier than those. Yeah, these are. This, even the seeds are a little bit redder. So I just chopped up some carrots. Um, this is pretty much like maybe a cup and a half. I'm going to add another cup. You could buy you could buy the package of carrots. I just use these because it's what I buy for juicing. Okay. Okay. So that's the carrots and the peppers, the basil. Um, let's go ahead and, and the bay leaf. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get onions in here. I'm gonna drop a large red. I call them purple onions in here. 
Um, Y'all know that's what I like. Now, traditional Spanish is like yellow or white. So I'll drop half of a, a yellow one in here. So we're going for flavor. We want the flavor. Now, I've seen people cook this with tomatoes to give it that mm, thickness or something. I'm using the carrots. That's what I'm kind of using. I'm going to add some salt. Not a lot until this stuff cooked down. That way I can really tell what this tastes like because I am going to taste the broth, of course. And then, of course, I'm going to add cumin because <laughs> what is a meal in my house without cumin or garlic, honey? It's not. There is no meal, okay? My bamboo spoon here. Let's just get this going. And... Is it not plugged in? I thought I already had it plugged in. What am I doing? I'm slacking. All right, so I'm just gonna turn this on manual for um, 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and check it, see how it's going. Um, in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna make my fried oil so I can have it um, sitting for at least some hours before I actually have to use it. Um, I got the recipe. I'll, I'll put her down below where I got the recipe for the oil. Um, but yeah. So for the fried oil, you can use it for like when you dip your tortillas before you uh, fry them, before you stuff them with um, like your queso or your um, like shredded beef or shredded chicken. So let me get all these scraps into the compost. And then, uh, well, I gotta keep my peppers. Hold on, y'all. We gotta keep these. We need these, friend. We're gonna fry these real quick. We're gonna make us a chili uh, mixture. Oh, girl, this is strong. My eyes burning. All right, so I'm gonna put the recipe that I'm using that I got from the chick offline, right? But um, for the infused um, oil. But I have everything in here. I added something a little bit different to make mine a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same recipe as hers. So this is the season we're gonna use for the infused oils. Um, It's not nearly enough. I know it's not. I probably should have made this recipe times like four. All right, it's sticking some. this out. I think because those chilies were soft. So it's sticking some. I'm not going to get rid of all this though because I'm going to use some of this when I go to um, blend some sauce to put back into the chicken. I'm gonna leave all this at the bottom. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna leave all this in here for when I blend for my um, chicken. And then here is what I have. I did the recipe pretty much times two. I didn't do a lot. All right, so let's get the oil in here. We need two cups of oil. Now, I'm doing mine just a little bit different, so follow the recipe if you would like, um, if you're interested in exactly how she makes it. She's good at what she does. I just know kind of like what works for us. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to have enough to keep. I didn't make the oil last time because I thought we had some in the refrigerator and we did not. Alright, let me check the um, oil. Yep, oh, it's ready. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, friend. Alright, so for this, we're going to add just a few chilies. Um, the Garea chilies and that other one I have. Just want to fry them real quick until they turn dark. It won't be in there, but like two minutes at the top, shall I? I just want to get that, that oil, that beautiful color. I want to get them dark, get them to turn dark for us. See, 
See that color right there? Okay. I'm just going to put them in my, um, I'm just going to transfer them. To, uh, my blender this is for later we're gonna use that later but right now I'm just gonna let this cool just for a few seconds and I'm putting it in here let me find something to put it on See what it tastes like because you know this was the outside of your tortilla gonna taste like oh look at that color y'all see that hmm first of all mm. okay they're gonna love this it's gonna be that greasing taco. I almost feel like I could have put some heat up in this thing instead of putting the heat in the meat. Hmm. Is it too late? Hmm. No, let's leave it. Okay, we're going to leave it. Um, Once this cools right here, I'm going to put it in this jar and this will be what we fry. The tacos. Look at that. Look at that. Child. All right, so I think this is ready. Round one. I'm going to take some of this liquid out, though. I hear you. And put it in here for our sauce with all our extra... Um, chilies that we fried so hold on because they gotta have something to dip this stuff in I'm trying to get the carrots or the chicken Oh, look at that. That's going to be good. Oh, have mercy. So anyway, when it's time to make these tacos, I can just grab like some chicken, some shredded chicken, put it on the taco, woo, woo, and then go from there. Okay? And then hopefully it's enough shredded chicken left over, like I said, to last us some days. I'm going to leave my bay leaves in here for a season. But now we're going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up real quick. I'm going to hammer So this just smells so freaking good. I'm going to put it back in here. And then when they want some, they can just scoop it out. So, what you just going to ask me? How was your day? My day was good. How was your day? Good. Oh. What did I make today? What do you think I made today? Um, wings. wings? No, wings sounds too much right now. What do you think I cooked today? What you been asking for? Broccoli and cheese. No. What you been asking for? Broccoli and cheese casserole. We just you just had that for lunch. Nachos. Yeah, I've been asking for nachos. No, what you've been asking for. Yeah, nachos. No, that's not what you've been asking for. What I said, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. What you've been asking for. You just asked for it the other day when we was with Garrett. Oh, those, um, those bar dogs. 
<laughs> Queso barilla tacos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm going to heat the um, griddle up over here. And while I'm heating that up, I'm going to go ahead and um, get everything together. Like the cilantro chopped, the onions chopped. Um, I think uh, I have my tortillas. I'm using a grill because I don't have a pan big enough to try to knock everybody's out real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pull the chicken out and um, just start getting these plates ready. So I have the onions and cilantro already chopped. Some of this will go inside the tacos and some of this will go inside their uh, like butter or dip bowls or whatever. So let's go over here. All right. So let's go ahead and add some of this oil uh, to fry our tortillas. I probably need to stir this. One time, one second. I'm gonna give it a good stir. Yeah, this is the oil we're gonna use to um, dip our tortilla in. Pretty much to fry our tortilla. Tortillas in here. We gotta move kind of fast with this. Actually, let me get the cheese up here ready to. Cause I'm gonna have to make it look the faster now that I got this whole thing over here. So, like I said, I normally like to do chicken um, thighs. I ended up doing chicken breast this time. Um, it was already on accident. I just, before I knew it, I had threw it in there and was like, oh my God, I forgot. Chicken thighs is normally juicier when it comes to like uh, the meat preference when it comes to um, these tacos or whatever. But my kids don't eat them regardless. You came down the hill or what? <laughs> like throwing trash away? No, I'm the help. Like I see them bowls right there? Mm -hmm. I need to just scoop some out of that sauce out. Not the meat, just the sauce into the bowls. That gives it flavor. That gives it like a, some added flavor. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna add another one um, um, to here. I mean, if you want, you could have put some shredded meat in your sauce if you wanted to, but um, I, I had some extra. Yeah, I just had a little extra in here. So that's pretty much what this looks like. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so here is 
one plate with the sauce to dip and the chicken, queso chicken bar barrio tacos. Here you go. So how you say it? Barudo. <laughs> no. Barria. You happy you got your tacos now? You don't have to keep asking? Huh? Mm -mm. Oh, it's still hot. Oh, yours hot too. I see the steam coming from it. Yep. I'm almost done, Penny.